Hey guys, so in this video we're going to be having a look at how we define a triangle when we're going to do some trigonometry. Trigonometry. So we've probably looked at things like the opposite side, the adjacent side, and the hypotenuse. And in this video we're just going to have a look at how we actually define these, what they are, because it's pretty important when we're doing trigonometry to know how our sides are defined. And the sides are always defined relative to some angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by putting an angle into this pink triangle I've got here. We'll do two examples. So if I put in this angle here in yellow, I'll call this angle theta. So this symbol here, this is just theta, and it's a Greek letter. So we always denote this angle theta as this angle that we don't know or that we're interested in. So if we want to calcu calculate a ratio, it's done with respect to this angle here, and we call this theta. So what we can see is that there are three sides to a triangle, obviously that's what makes it a triangle. And we know that the longest side is always going to be our hypotenuse. So in any triangle, our longest side here is going to be our hypotenuse. So the way we can find that is we just find the right angle, the hypotenuse is always the side which is going to be opposite our right angle. That's always going to be our longest side, and you'll see the hypotenuse often called H. H meaning hypotenuse. Then we've got two other sides, and it's these sides which we need to know for when we're doing ratios later on. So we have our angle theta, and we always know we always define our sides relative to this angle theta. So we say that the side directly opposite the angle, so we say the side here, which is opposite our angle theta, we call this the opposite side because it is opposite to our angle, so this is the opposite side, and we call it the opposite, denote it with an O. So we've got our hypotenuse, which is our longest side, our opposite side, which is opposite our angle theta, and then we have this side here, which is touching our angle theta. So we call this the adjacent side. So adjacent just means next to, so we call it the adjacent side because it is next to our angle theta, and we'll denote this as A. So our hypotenuse is our longest side, our opposite side is the side opposite our angle theta, and our adjacent side is the side adjacent to or next to our angle theta here. So those are how we define our sides in trigonometry, and it's going to become later, important later on when we look at our sine, our cos, and our tan ratios, but for now we just want to practice defining these and making sure that we get them correct. Then if we have a look at our second example, we say that our sides are always defined relative to this angle theta. So if we take the same triangle down here, so these are both the same triangles, I've just done one in green and one in pink, this time we're going to put the angle theta up here. So our angle theta is going to move to being in the top right instead of being in this bottom left. So you can see that here, the longest side doesn't, doesn't change. The longest side here is still going to be our hypotenuse. So right there, that's our hypotenuse, it's our longest side, we'll denote it as H. But we said before that our opposite side was the side opposite to our angle theta. So if we look now, whereas before our opposite side was here, or here, now our opposite side is going to be this side here. So this is our opposite side, and we'll call that O. So just by changing the angle theta, we've changed exactly where our opposite side is. And again, if we want to find our last side, it's this side here, and this is now the side which is touching our angle theta, so we now say that this side here is adjacent to our angle theta, adjacent just meaning next to, so we call this side now our adjacent side. So what you can see is that our hypotenuse is always going to be the same, but depending on where we def we place our angle theta, so whether we place it up here or here, it's going to change which side is our opposite side and which side is our adjacent side. So just remember guys that when you're labeling your triangles, if you have your angle 
then the opposite side is the side opposite the angle theta, and your adjacent side is the side which is touching or next to your angle theta. And depending where you place that theta, or depending which angle you're interested in, will determine how you define those sides. So what I'm going to do is put out some more videos for you on using these ratios. Uh, thanks guys.